everybody, this is what my hair looks like when I wake up first thing in the morning. It is flat, flat, I look like Cousin It, and this is definitely not TV ready. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the stereotypical anchor helmet hair. So here we go. All right, there are three things you absolutely need to make your helmet, and the first thing happens to be a teasing brush. I prefer this over a comb because you can get more grip, therefore you can get more height. Don't mind all the hair that's stuck in mine, it's kind of nasty. Okay, next thing that you absolutely need, and this is something that I don't think a lot of people utilize enough, it's really popular nowadays, hair powder. Now this one's by Oscar Blondie, it's a little over $20, and I wouldn't recommend it as much as I recommend this one because it's cheaper and this one's in a bigger container. So this is the Big and Sexy Hair Powder Play, and you can get this at stores like Ulta or salons on sale, sometimes as low as $9, and it lasts a really long time. All you need is a clip. I like to use a clip in order to keep the section separated. These things cost about a dollar. Finally, you want a good volumizing hairspray that'll also be hard because after all, you want a helmet that you can knock on and you can actually like hear a knocking sound. So I like to use Big and Sexy um, Spray and Play Harder. It's a terrible name. I didn't invent it, but the product really works well and it doesn't flake. Um, so this is one of my top hairsprays. I like to start at the crown because that's where you want maximum volume. Take a small section, maybe a couple inches long, and section it off. Grab your brush, put a little bit of hair powder on it, and start combing down, four or five strokes. If you want extra hardness, put a little spritz of hairspray, and then continue. Then comb it over and do another section, and another section. I would do three to start off with. Then unclip your red clip on the side, and start with your sides. Keep in mind the sides should not be as big as the back. You do not want to look like Florence Henderson from the Partridge Family. Now that you have the base, smooth it back and do a little bit of touch up. As you touch up, use your hairspray. I know it's a lot, you'll get used to it. Smooth it all out, zhuzh it up, and pretty much good to go. I guarantee this hairstyle is going to stay through any inclement weather. I have been in snowstorms and this helmet will not deflate, I promise. And that's it. And you know you have achieved big hair success when you can hide things in your head like milk duds.